Tesla workers at the Giga Berlin facility had good reason to celebrate because they were able to build 2,000 Tesla Model Ys for the first time in the team's brief history. Hey people, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be looking into the Berlin Gigafactory. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and most importantly, watch the video till the end. Let's get started. For the team and the business, this is a crucial turning point. It indicates that the manufacturing is no longer being slowed down by supply chain problems that are finally being resolved. It signals the beginning of the Giga Berlin team operating like a well-oiled machine. The good news for Tesla stockholders is that as production levels rise, delivery times will shorten, and as they do, Tesla stock prices will rise. The business tweeted about its most recent success. It's a significant advancement. The company just revealed that in June of this year, at Giga Berlin, it was possible to produce 1,000 Model Ys. The team worked very hard and achieved an excellent outcome when they were able to double that rate in just over three months. Although the company has an ambitious target of producing 5,000 automobiles per week until the end of this year, it is still too early to celebrate. At this stage, suppliers will have the biggest impact on the ramp up. The Giga Berlin team appears to be capable of providing the numbers if the organization can handle a steady stream of components. The production of customers' cars at Giga Berlin began on March 14th of this year. The facility increased output to an annualized level of 100,000 automobiles in less than seven months. The facility will produce 250,000 Teslas annually before the end of this year, which is a significant scale increase. This enables Giga Berlin to meet the Model Y demand in Europe while also reducing delivery wait times. Following Giga Texas's recent claim that the facility had produced 10,000 Model Y units to date, Tesla made the same declaration. We can easily see that Tesla is on track to reach its anticipated production levels when we combine it with Giga Shanghai and its most recent production figures. Just a reliable supply chain without any additional surprises would do. According to Tesla, the Berlin factory could produce up to 500,000 cars a year. In its first few weeks of serial production, the Tesla plant hopes to produce 2,000 automobiles, according to the German journal Automotor und Sport. According to a tweet from independent Tesla researcher Troy Teslike, the company hopes to produce 1,000 vehicles per week after six weeks of commercial production and 5,000 by the end of 2022. The American EV manufacturer has been having difficulty meeting demand, and there are reportedly significant delays for Model Ys and specific Model 3s in various parts of the world. Due to a resurgence of COVID-19 instances in China last week, Tesla was forced to temporarily halt operations at its Shanghai plant. For at least two days, this stopped the production of Model 3 and Model Y cars that were made in China. Tesla has been shipping vehicles from China to clients in Europe in recent months. In Europe, where there is still a huge demand for EVs, Tesla can now count on some production taking place there rather than just having vehicles flown in from China. Giga Berlin has been in the works for a while. It is crucial for Tesla's plans to grow internationally after its Giga Factory 3 building in Shanghai debuts in late 2019. A second factory in Austin, Texas, where the business has recently begun producing the Model Y, has not yet had a formal opening by Tesla. Musk praised German engineering when he revealed plans to erect a car facility in Germany in November 2019. Everyone agrees that German engineering is top-notch, he remarked. That is a contributing element in our decision to locate our Gigafactory Europe in Germany. Berlin has some of the best art in the world, so we're also aiming to establish an engineering and design hub there. Tesla received conditional authorization from German authorities on March 4th to begin production. After several months of delays, the conditional license for the Brandenburg vehicle and battery factories were anticipated. Tesla had planned to begin vehicle manufacturing by the first half of 2021, but setbacks from the COVID epidemic issues with the supply chain and disputes with environmentalists prevented this from happening. Despite the plant being operational, there are still problems with water utilization at the facility. In a research note published on Monday, analysis for the car sector at Deutsche Bank stated that the impact on the local water supply continues to be a concern for the future of the facility. In order to truly ramp up production, they continued, Tesla must show proof of proper water usage and air pollution control. 
The corporation may use up all of its water reserve in the area with the first stage of the plant built out, according to sources, and will require further extraction permissions if it wants to increase its capacity in the future. As a result, Tesla will allegedly have adequate supplies to satisfy the initial 500,000 volume target, but it may encounter more difficulties as it seeks to increase the capacity of each of its gigafactories to about 1 million units per year. The campus sits 35 kilometers southeast of the city center of Berlin, between the Erkner and Fangschluss railway station on the berlin roklaw line, which serves as the site's northern border, and the A10 freeway, which serves as the western border. The area was an undeveloped 3-square-kilometer greenfield landsite designated industrial zone that extended north from the 1-square-kilometer GVZ Freinbrink Logistics Center around the year 2000. It was supposed to be the site of a BMW vehicle production, but BMW chose Saxony. Freienbrink is surrounded by much larger pine plantations that are a part of a landscape-scale conservation. Authorities anticipated Tesla to reduce felling by planting new trees of a more varied kind because the area was home to a state-owned man-made forest of low quality, monoculture pine trees that were ready for harvest. To make room for the factory, 160 hectares of a plantation were destroyed, and by 2022, 265 hectares of a new multi-species forest had been planted elsewhere. There are plans to add other species to the pine plantation. Old munitions made site cleanup challenging, and on January 26, 2020, seven bombs were destroyed in a controlled explosion. The location also deviates from the old postal roads path. The land purchase agreement was scheduled to be finalized in December 2019. Tesla clarified its anticipated annual production rate of over 500,000 vehicles at the European Gigafactory in December 2019. Tesla was required to pay 41 million euros, or 13.50 euros per square meter, for the 300 hectare property. Tesla authorized the purchase agreement to purchase the land for 41 million euros, according to German media in January 2020. Tesla signed the agreement and the state notarized it on January 29, 2020. According to the environmental report, the soil is valley sand and contains some heavy metal pollution. Elon Musk posted an image of the Finnish Berlin Brandenburg Gigafactory on Twitter in July 2020, after 800 M3 of cardboard and wood caught fire in the factory's recycling plant on September 26, 2022. A significant fire broke out at the site. The Tesla factory fire brigade called the Grunheid Municipal Fire Department at 3.33 in the morning. 50 firefighters were sent to the scene and they battled the blaze until just before 8 a.m. There were no reported injuries. Those opposed to the factory's construction, including the Strasbourg Erkner Water Board and Citizens Initiatives, voiced their concerns and demanded that Giga Berlin stop making cars right away. According to a report from the regional radio RBB, the Municipal Council of Grunheide in the German state of Brandenburg has postponed the vote on the proposed expansion of Tesla's Berlin Gigafactory indefinitely. Tesla plans to add another 250 acres to its almost 750-acre industrial site so that it may construct a freight depot in addition to other production components. The development plan was started in June after the ideas received approval from the Grunheide main committee and were forwarded to the local council. Arne Christiani, the mayor of Grunheide, deleted the item off the council meeting schedule because he couldn't guarantee the plan would be voted on this year and because the council needs further information. It's unclear what additional information the local council needs from Tesla in order to move forward with the automaker's expansion plans. But it's possible that Russia's actions to cut off gas supplies to Europe in general, and Germany in particular, are making Christiani hesitate before approving a plan that will undoubtedly require energy to carry out. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, had previously pledged to create his gigafactories and electric cars as sustainably as possible but it'll be challenging for Tesla to avoid the factory closures sweeping Germany. The announcement comes shortly after Tesla held an Information Day event at the location, during which the company stated that the factory's production ramp-up was going extremely well, without revealing any other information. With that, the video has come to an end. Let us know what you think in the comments section to help us expand our community and attract more people who share our interests and are eager to learn. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you thought the video was interesting. Till then, bye.